Hi, Mike Allen here. Today I'm going to show you Cisco Unified Video Advantage, or CUVA, uh, as we call it for short. Uh, a couple things need to happen first. One, you've got to enable CUVA, or video, across your endpoints and via system-wide. Um, to do that, you can log into CCA version 2.2.4, go to the Applications tab on the left-hand side of the page, choose Video Telephony, and literally it's as easy as checking a box and clicking OK. From there, some of your phones will restart, um, come back with the actual uh, property or class of service that allows them to use video. And the second piece to that is you're going to want to install a couple of pieces of software, uh, which we call Cisco Unified Video Advantage, right here, for example. Um, one piece of software that comes in the software package that you download from Cisco.com is the actual driver for our Cisco VT or Video Advantage camera. And the next piece of software is our CDP driver, which basically runs the telephony application uh, that you see here that allows you to uh, share video from endpoint to endpoint. Uh, currently, as it sits today, when we call from one uh, extension to another, both extensions or both users need to be either using an IP communicator, as I'm going to show you on my half of the demo today. And then with me, I've got Teresa, and Teresa has the CUVA software installed on her laptop and she's plugged directly into the back of a 7970 phone. So if you have a hardware endpoint, you just want to make sure that in order to use the CUVA software that you are plugged in directly to the phone. So let's see how it works. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the button for Michael Scott at extension 201 here. <phone rings> Teresa, if you will, there she goes. She answers the phone. Hi there. Hi. <laughs> so now what's happened is if you notice we've still got the phone live uh, connected to the Michael Scott extension. We've got two different windows, one that says remote where Teresa's at and one that says local where I'm at. So literally now we are talking endpoint to endpoint, me via my IP communicator and Teresa via her 7970 phone. And from here um, you're able to use this application if you've, uh, let's say from a remote user standpoint, you might be um, at another location, uh, on vacation maybe, somewhere else. Uh, you can fire up your VPN client, connect via your IP communicator, and still be able to have video telephony access. Uh, in multi-site deployments, we've done this quite a few different times, where we uh, might pin up a conference room phone to another system, so users between two locations can video conference. And in other applications, um, really for video, it, it pretty much gets, gets endless. Uh, we use this at, on a daily basis inside of Cisco, so whenever Teresa and I might be talking to each other, I'm in Sacramento, she's in San Jose, uh, Lance we might be talking to in Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, we can all talk uh, on a one-to-one -one ratio, one-to-one -one basis, back and forth just by dialing each other's extensions. So this was Cisco Unified Video Advantage um, by Teresa. <laughs> Thanks for watching and uh, good selling.